So here we go again. It got really cold here really fast. Like it just like all of a sudden, it feels like just yesterday it was really hot. And then just in a week, it just went. Phew. Here we go again. It's like I can see. It's like, first of all, it's like you're being held like that arm's length and but at the same time you're not quite um let go either so it's somewhere in the middle and it's like I can see his every move I can see his every move and I think that's why they run um, I think that that intimidates them that they feel like they are see-through next to you. And that as long as they have weaknesses within them that they know that you can see um, and they're not standing upright with themselves, then you're going to be able to see all of, the, all of their places that they're trying to hide from the world. And I think they're afraid of being so vulnerable and, and feeling weak. And I don't even, I, I, they themselves may not even be aware that that is what it is. They just feel discomfort and kind of like gooey, like, ugh, kind of, um, And so they, they know that we can see right through them. That's why they run. They're afraid of being vulnerable and for us to be able to see their weaknesses. And that's why it hurts so much for us because we're coming out of love. And um, I think that's where it keeps on bouncing back. Ooh, my battery. 15%. Um, I don't have a charger here. I have to go get one. And it's like that uh, there's something in that that um, makes them run. And to them, it may just feel like it's overwhelming, like too gushy or too emotional or you know, overwhelming. Um, and so that pushes them away, but they're, that what they're actually doing is pushing away from themselves. Pushing away from uh, having to look at their places that they're not standing up completely. And it's kind of like it touches us in the same way. That's why we're thrown into the spiritual awakening because somebody else can see right through you. And, and then you start seeing all the spots that you're not shining in. Like, and then you have to start facing them and you have to stand up in your um, power to overcome them. So it's, it's, it's like you're shaping up but you're also getting like it, it, it's it's like with with them being able to look through us and see everything all of a sudden we're looking at ourselves oh wait a minute there's that spot and there's that spot and it's painful it's painful also to be seen in your places that are your weaknesses and feeling like you're being um pushed away and we're kind of forced inward to try to, you know, every time we come in contact, we see more places. It's like having light being shown right on the places that we have, have kept dark. It's like all of a sudden light, you know, when you see light, when you're, when you, when you're sitting in the dark and all of a sudden there's a light, it's painful because of the expansion, because your eye goes, Psh. so when you find like a, 
um, pattern like that, it works throughout. And it's almost like I feel like with him that I can see right through him. I see his every move. I might see it in delay. I might see it like afterwards when, 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 you know, because when you're in your analytical mind, you're thinking, you're at the pace of thinking, but your emotions are feeling other things and it's the subconscious or it's the energy of what is happening. It's like, when you quit listening to the words and you feel what the what the energy of it, what the objective of it is, or or why somebody would do this movement, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit to to click all the way around. So sometimes the 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 emotion of it arrives way later when 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 something is realized or when. Um, when the energy, when, you know, energy is slow paced movement. It's like a wave, you know, when you think with your analytical mind, it's like mathematical, you, 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 you it, it's a uh, cognitive it, emotionally. It comes in like it takes a minute to even know what you're feeling. When you feel any emo big emotion come up, it, it takes you into like this wave. And you have to wait for it to settle to see, you know, to see what, what, what it is that you're feeling. And I feel like I see him at every, at every, like at every spot. And it's like, I see right through him. I see all of his moves and I feel like he knows that and that he like rubs my nose in those places, right? And like it's a big game because as my nose is being rubbed, right, every time we go through one of these uh, crises or one of these crashes, we come out the other side with so much more strength and so much more knowledge and so much, so many more places within us that we have stood in our power. You know, once we go through the pain and push through it and overcome whatever it is that we're overcoming. And I feel like it's been and still is an emotional roller coaster. It's like, It's like I'm going through every single emotion that it's like the, the whole spectrum all the way around from light to light. And sometimes it's just so overwhelming. We're going through every single aspect of ourselves and healing ourselves. Be, being willing to look at every single part and take responsibility for it. And overcoming, um, you know, coming back to reality, coming back to basics, coming back to an understanding of who we are and what we are and what this life is and what this plane is and that this is all an experience. And I kind of feel like it's a game, like that I feel like I'm in between the two worlds, like I'm passing through being born again or like in the process of waking up and coming into blooming, actual blooming you know, where you come in to own your own and then you are in, in all of your glory. And it's a completely different realm. It's a completely different dimension. It's on the same platform, but it's like a big game. It's like you're, it's like, um, I feel like, okay, so I feel like I see him at every move. And it's kind of like the energy of this. And he's on the other side taunting me like, it feels like na na banana. Like he can anticipate every single move. 
you know, he, he knows exactly how every single, he knows that I'm going to get it. And he knows exactly how it's going to affect me. And it's kind of like taking my nose and rubbing it in, you know, rubbing it in really good until I become numb in that place or until I overcome, until I heal in that place. It feels like I'm being taken through, you know, this is all divinely guided, but it feels like I'm being taken through every single one of my weaknesses. It's like I'm being guided through, oh, here's a little spot. Oh, you missed this little spot. Um, oh, that little spot's not quite done yet. Let's rub your nose in that some more. Until I become numb to the games, like it's it, and I'm really saying this in a in a loving way. This isn't in a. It, it's kind of like in in like when you come into your higher self, this whole life becomes a game, and then it's just like okay, get through you know as much experience as much as you can as fast as you can, so that you can come into this place of bliss, which is heaven on earth, which is reaching ascension while we're still alive in this plane. And then we come into the full playground. It's like, you can run over there and play with those people and you can move energy around and you can, um, you know, uh, uh, move from this place and go to this place and, and meet this person and, Go through a life experience with this person, a life lesson that you can gain with this person because of their unique personality, and then play the game with this person. And then, you know, it's like a big, um, I want to say sandbox, like, but that sounds too small. It's like a, this massive, open, everything is possible. Um, life experience in this plane, when you learn how to move the elements, when you learn how to harness the energy of the universe and, you know, cause the universe, you are of the universe, you are of it. So the universe of course loves itself and wants to expand itself. So if you move with and in harmony with the way of the universe, then you have all of the power of the universe behind you. It's like having a, a a wind at your back, and not even. It's like flowing with with there. You know, there is no opposition. There is no friction. Nothing is stopping you. You know, it's like going with the flows and allowing life to take you. Oh, let's go over here. Okay, this person's leaving my life. Okay, it must be time to move on. You know, it's like. It becomes a big game. And when you find this equal counterpart, it becomes a big game and a dance too. It's like you have this frustrating ping pong partner that just is, it's like, it's just like having this constant mirror shining at you from all the different sides. It's, it just seems like a big game to me. It seems like when we pass over into the Garden of Eden, it's like everything is funny. Everything is funny. You know, it's like, but it's more than funny. It's like breathtaking awe and amazement and uh, the feeling of empowerment and... Everything is in movement. Everything is fluid. Everything is glistening. You now you see life expanding and blossoming and, and you see the, the patterns of life and you see the seasons. You see the seasons of the plants and you see the different life cycles and you see how everything is in this beautiful harmony when not interfered with. When you come out of ego, when you come into awakening, then you are a part of everything and you are in service to everything because everything is also in service to you. All the plants are in service to you, plant medicine, plants that we eat. Um, and 
and all living beings and creatures that crawl the earth have their own experience and it is it is their life and we're like desecrating their life with you know hurting and i mean we take animals and we treat them like there are belongings just because we can. When actually we're all living creatures came here to have a life experience. See, these are, these are thoughts that have, um, Um, made me be, become vegan. It's the entering into the Garden of Eden. And that's all it is all about. That's all it is all about. Righteousness. Righteousness means setting yourself right, which means getting yourself fully standing in your power, being honest with yourself, being responsible for yourself, um, wanting, doing the right thing for the right reason um, with all regarded taken into consideration. I feel like my ears are ringing. So it's a place of the synchronicities. Everything is in synchronicity with everything else. Everything is in like this divine uh, movement together. Everything is um, in cycle with each other, like just like flowers and bees. It's an animal and a plant that have this um, dependency on one another. They have evolved together. Um, and they are in a, um, a life cycle together. Even though one is a, an insect and one is a plant. And we have these divine connections with our food as well, with our plant medicine. It's divine synchronicity. And we create together a cycle. So... So we, we eat and what comes through us goes back and replenishes the land and creates more of the same cycle. It's like a dependency. And we are depleting the land with the, the current way that we are living. We're depleting our own. We're out of sync with our surroundings. So... We are taking without giving back or by um, separating. By separating, I mean like I can't think of an example. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. So I, I have 5%. So thank you for watching.